decide which one you prefer, I'll do it this way. Um, this is going to be the speed buff, the Phoenix speed buff. On unit, or variable unit. As long as that is larger or larger or equal to 1. So while we have stacks left in the unit, the first thing we're going to do is remove the stack. Remove behavior. One behavior of speed buff from our Phoenix. Gonna delete this one. Um, we're gonna, not going to set any move distance. We're not going to issue any order. Uh, we're going to have another if here. We need to check if the thruster has been turned back on again, like if the player just quickly releases and then presses the button again. So we're going to go here to variable thruster on. If that is true, we need to just exit this trigger because then we want to add trust again. So skip remaining actions. That's fine. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to check that it's threaded so we can have multiple of them running. All right. Let's see if I forgot anything. Um, I think this should be working now, actually. So it adds the buff. It sets uh, basically what we do here is we uh, we set the trigger on so that we don't launch multiple triggers. That way, if we launch multiple triggers, the buff would be adding faster. And um, this is a safety check. It shouldn't add, um, launch multiple triggers, but uh, sometimes it happens. Anyway, we check that the thruster is on, and while it's on, we just add the bu add the buff to the Phoenix. One more stack. And then we order the unit to move a distance that we calculate from how many stacks it has. You can set this up to whatever you want. But I advise you to calculate it from the stack if you want a smooth movement that it slows down and stops. Then once the thruster turns off, we go down here and we start removing the stacks. Obviously, I forgot the weight. You need a weight here. Else, this is not going to work. So 0 0.3 up here, and let's say it's going to slow down a bit faster than it speeds up. 0 0.1. And yeah, that should be it. It will uh, make sure that if the thruster is turned on again, it will jump out, and on that, it will remove it. So let's go into the game and give this map a go. All right, so here we are in the game. And if I now press down W, you'll see the stacks count up on the armor, and this armor, and you'll see my Phoenix fly soft. If I release it, it will slow down. Let's see it again. You'll see if I, if it doesn't have much speed, it will slow down and stop fairly quickly. But if I allow it to gain up to max speed and release it, the slowdown distance is going to be longer. It might be a bit laggy here, so it might be hard for you to see. So let's see here. We release it, and it takes a longer time to slow down when you have it at a faster pace. So yeah, sadly this tutorial went right over the 10 minute mark, so oh well. Uh, but this is working now. And that's it for this time. Have fun.